Our fifth inductee is Wade Henninger. Wade was a member of the men's basketball team from 2001 to 2005 and ranks fourth in career scoring with 1,424 points in 95 games. He also ranks in the top 10 in six other categories and had a single game school record 44 points against Salisbury as a junior. I think we can all agree that Wade really belongs in the Hall of Fame for Stevenson. His leadership abilities, his incredible talent on the basketball court, and his determination to be the best and to be the best team player are characteristics that any Hall of Famer should have. Wade always demonstrated uh, an enormous amount of respect for me and I think for the other faculty as well in the days that we were Villa Julie. He always addressed me as yes ma'am or no ma'am and I would tell him Wade you don't have to call me ma'am and he would say yes ma'am I know that I'm more comfortable with that and that's sort of characteristic of his personality. He had a tremendous amount of respect for authority, for his coaches, for his teachers, um, but that respect also carried through to his family. He's a, he was a great, he's a great husband to Nicole, he's a great father. He, he works for the Police Athletic League and is um, a significant role model for the younger kids there. And those kind of characteristics came to us from Wade, clearly from his days at Eastern Tech, from his parents, but also were developed here as part of the basketball team that was patient and uh, team oriented and successful because of that. The four core values of Stevenson began long ago before we became Stevenson University. As far back as I can remember, those values resonated within the entire community and I would say Wade exemplifies in the best possible way all of those values especially his desire for excellence and excellence is achieved not overnight it's a daily drudge of hard work and determination and grit and clearly Wade has all those things From the class of 2005, it is my honor to welcome Wade Henninger into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. Thank you. I want to first thank Stevenson University, all the people who nominated me, and those that voted for me. Paul Canabine, thank you for everything. Um, you know, you start playing any sport when you're young because of the joy it brings you and the way it makes you feel about yourself when you play it. Then as you get older, you trust the hard work, dedication, and passion, never knowing that in the end, you're gonna receive a tremendous honor like the Hall of Fame at your college. While this is an individual honor, there are a lot of people that helped me achieve this and make it possible. And I not only stand here by myself, but I represent them as well. And I want to take the time to thank them now. Coach Brett Adams. Coach allowed me the opportunity to develop into an all-around player. He allowed me to play multiple positions, even point guard for a few games when Kenny was hurt. <laughs> he even encouraged me to shoot more. Every time we talk in his office, he said, I want you to shoot the ball more. I said, all right, coach, it's going up. <laughs> Not every player gets these opportunities, and I'm thankful that I didn't have a coach to put limitations on me. My favorite Coach Adams story is one day the school shut down for snow. Everybody went home early, practice was canceled, but there it was, it was me, Kenny, Fitz, Adam, and we were just sitting in the gym shooting, we all wanted to get a workout. Coach said, somebody else was there, it was three on three. Chris Warren. Coach said, you guys need a fifth? Ran to his office, hustled back, he had his gear on. 
and we, we played three on three for two hours. Uh, I, I remember it was me, Kenny, me, Kenny, and Chris, Fitz, Adam, and, and Coach. And I'll never forget this. This is my favorite memory, Coach. It wasn't from a game. It wasn't from practice. It was, it was from us playing in three on three. Coach said, damn it, Adam. Excuse my language. <laughs> he said, damn it, Adam. It doesn't take any talent to hustle. <laughs> and when I think of Coach, I think of that quote. So I wanted to share that today. Coach Nappy, where's Coach Nappy? Coach Nappy, you taught me to swing in head. Used to grab my jaw and turn my head. <laughs> Back then I hated it, but I love you for it now. I work with youth now and I catch myself using that phrase, the swing in head, you gotta see the court. He always ta taught us to, to point out the weak sister on the other team. And that we did, we went where the matchup was. But, you did a lot to help me get overseas. Uh, a lot of mentoring, set up a workout, and uh, I want to thank you for that. Thank you, Coach. Uh, coach Jeb Barber, Coach not here tonight. Uh, always willing to get in the gym with me, always willing to rebound, um, open the gym so I could get a workout. We had a lot of good times on the road going to scout and recruit, so uh, I want to thank Coach Jeb. Miss Chip Rouse. Her door was always open. Anytime I needed her. She was at every home game that I can remember, always supported the team. She showed me, showed me what it took to go from a B student to an A student, and for that I thank you. I can tell you now, I work for Baltimore County now, and because of your classes, my emails stand out, my presentations stand out, and I want to thank you for that. I want to thank one of my former teammates and still a good friend, Brian Hubbard. When I came to Stevenson as a freshman, Brian was the hardest worker on the team and that really resonated with me. I wanted to be looked at the way I looked at Brian, so I emulated him my freshman year, hung out with him, and became a very good friend off the court with him. Thanks, Hub. I want to thank Anthony Fitzgerald. I don't think I've ever seen Fitz in a bad mood. His easygoing personality often reminded me not to take life so serious, which I often did. While Fitz and I had many tenacious battles in practice, we also did a good share of beating up on the green team together. But all in all, it made both of us better. Thanks, Fitz. I want to thank Kenny Wood. Kenny Wood still is a great friend and the most unselfish player I have ever played with. Everyone knew Kenny could really shoot the ball, but he always chose to pass first which worked out good for me and Fitz. <laughs> <laughs> I really credit Kenny with the uh, development of my, as me as a player. He had me playing in gyms all over Baltimore City that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> he organized all the off-season leagues that we played in. At one point, I think we were playing in three or four at a time, up and down, 95. I don't think I've become the player I was without Kenny. Thanks, Kenny. I want to thank my grandmother, Juanita Beatty, and my late grandfather, Bill Beatty. My grandparents allowed me the opportunity to go to college and always helped me in any way possible. They're a huge reason for my success in life, and I don't think I'm here without them. Thanks, Grandma. I want to thank my parents, Wayne and Sharon. They started me playing soccer and baseball when I was eight years old and were always there for all of my games. My mom taught me early on about eating healthy and taking care of my body. She was always supporting me in everything I've done, even if I was wrong. <laughs> for, my for my entire adult life, my dad has worked two jobs. He's a man that doesn't show a ton of emotion, emotion but leads by example. And up until I wrote this speech, I never noticed that's exactly how I was as a player. I always watched him and thought if he could work that hard to support our family, I could work that hard when it came to my classes and give 100% to being the best basketball player I could be. So for that, I want to thank you, Mom and Dad. I need to thank my wife, Nicole. She endured the countless hours of driving and sitting to watch me play. 
She knows better than anybody the amount of work I put into the game of basketball. When I was 19 or 20, she even made me get her a gym membership so she could hang out with me more in the summer. <laughs> I know I wasn't always easy to be around after we lost or when rehabbing an injury, but you're always there for me and you still are, and I want to thank you for that. <laughs> Lastly, I want to thank my mother and father-in-law for being here tonight. They rarely missed one of my home games and always supported our team. And to Brianna, my daughter, who I'm so proud of, I want to thank you for being the great kid you are, and I'm glad you're able to participate in tonight. Thank you all for coming.